Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and it's been a few in-game days and a couple of real days since the last time I recorded. As of now, my internet is gone. Apparently, someone stole the cables of my village, so I don't have any internet. So hopefully this comes out on whatever day this currently is, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I have flown from there to here. As you know, I, I took an entire section the name of the pirates. The Persians are not happy. There's a few vengeance fleets on their way, and we are looking at taking... Valhalla, why not? So there's a few uh, local wars going on. Now I've managed to grab some supplies from resources and things, like locals were giving them to me. I say giving, it was more, you know, they, they offered, so I said yes. But right now what we need is places to be. Some people have said I should just take a base. Live in a base, you know, just see how long I can live in the home world. And the thing is, with my forces, probably quite a long time. Vengeance fleets are easy to kill. If I hang around for three months anywhere, on any uh, place I build up, I can get a base to defend me. And once I get a base to defend me, it'll take multiple fleets arriving at the same time to even scratch me. So that's where we're currently at. I might, you know, like I say, do another one. I'm going to be doing the Shadow Yards for my next one. I'm just not getting close enough, are I? Just not getting close enough. But right now, we don't really care. So, let's see what we could do. We're going to go have a look at Jangalore. Remember the Jangalore? That's the world I want. Now, apparently... <laughs> no, no, no. Can't fight the Shadow Yards. Get distracted. Apparently, I can claim governorship for like a few million or something. So, I've got some money. If need be, I'll take it in the name of me. But... Let's take Jangalore. God, my supplies. Got a lot of money. PLS does blow surface from the storm. Wait, surface battle on Cephalon. The Psy are attacking Cephalon. That's Cephalon. Don't tell me Cephalon is where I just came from. No, it's not. Wow, well, whatever. Who cares? So we are going to see what Jangalore can do for us. It's a jungle world. It's where we want to be. It's where all the cool kids roam. It's where all the parties happen. Why do the parties happen there? Who knows? Maybe people are bored. Now we've got a lot of supplies, got a lot of equipment, got a fair few extra crew. We've even got a load of got a load of random extras, a load of marines. Why do we have marines? Uh, you know why. Oh, oh, it's a vengeance fleet. Oh, it's a double vengeance fleet. I'm being double vengeance. Oh, really? It's not exactly the best Vengeance Fleet I've ever seen. Oh, right, we'll engage the Vengeance Fleet. Why not? Now, where we currently are in the world is significantly bad for them. I have a lot of powerful ships now. Which is very bad for them. I do have a lot of powerful ships. Like I was going to say, we don't have anything. Everything I've got is designed around speed. Speed 8 was the goal of the fleet. That's a pocket battleship. That's a battle cruiser. That's a battle cruiser. That's my flagship. That's a battle cruiser. These are strike carriers. Over there, we have a super elite on its way. Do we? No, we don't. Super elite is currently dead ahead. That is literally a gigantic mech suit. A prototype super mech suit. We don't really have any issues with anything going on. Things melt in the face of unending damage and unending danger. Of course, this thing is still a very glass cannony. But there is very, very little which slows down progress. Things die. We build. They fail. Let me just carry on. The pirates are being piratey. The enemy is being exploding. And the world will change hands. Now, I don't know if we're still pirates at this stage of life. Because we're taking planets. We're literally taking planets and killing millions. The orphanages are massively in business because of me. And I don't really think that's piracy anymore. I just think that's uh, being a warlord. Like, I've still got that big massive ship I bought ages ago. I've got battleships in some docks I haven't used since the beginning. Remember when I bought that pirate battleship and then I never went back to it? Do you remember ages ago? It was it a castigator and never picked it up. You know, there's lots of things I was going to do and never did. And here we are, killing everyone. Oh, there's your list. 
That's you. Okay. Oh, wrong list. I just don't know what to do anymore. Like, how many people do I have to kill before I'm not a pirate? A bit before I just become a warlord. At what point do you put the warlord brand on you? Like, is Jack Sparrow still a pirate if he is the built of fleets and is like taking entire uh, ports? Or is he just a very well off, I suppose he's a pirate admiral at that point. But you know what I mean? Is he still a pirate? Or is he just like another warlord? It's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. I don't really have answers to it. I don't really have answers to it at all. I don't even have to use most of my ships anymore. We're at that stage where most of my ships who move in kill things. And if they don't kill things, other things kill them instead. It's just the way the world burns. And there's another Vengeance fleet. We've, both, we've all seen it pop in. It's going to be here in a second. Do we care? Not so much. Like, I'm going to be a little bit out of CR. I can go another round without CR. It might be able to destroy some of my ships. I have more ships. Look at this. The Dragon Force is not released. The, tum the Poison Tumbleweed is still redder. I've still got the Zombie Moses prepped. We are now at the stage where Vengeance Fleets are left to level 3 with multiple battleships. Don't even phase us. Not even pulling in new ships anymore. Although these fighters are annoying. And that's the thing. Oh, it's your list! Oh, it's... Okay, that's a problem. It's not your list, it's your unhanger. It's a super ship. It's a super ship. And this is a problem. This thing here. I want this. That's the only thing doing damage. A teeny little ship is the only thing currently doing damage to me. And it ran away. So yeah, that's our goal. Wipe things out. Live long and prosper. So maybe I'll take Jangalore. Maybe I'll make it ours. And then maybe we'll live there for a bit. I'm not entirely sure how the pirates will be feeling about that. But we'll see in a second, I guess. God, it annihilated my armour. I have no armour left. Oh, God, these things are horrible. What are they? It's a drone swarm. It's attacking hundreds and EMP me. Oh, God, they're back already. I don't want to die to a dozen drones. Oh no, you're back. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Look at them all. That's insane. I suppose you're kind of damaged. Okay, you go kill that. You two kill that off. Uh, You push forward onto that. I'm not sure where they're coming from. It's got to be the big super carry at the back. Oh, I need to. I definitely need to die. Oh, there's your list again. But even with damage, I'm going to repair. Because obviously, from the rear, that's going to be. Well, I don't take my hits. I can still tank. If the frontal armors goes, then I've got a bit of an issue. Okay, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Gone. The iron hander is gone. Maybe just add more mechs into my roster of madness. Which will put me in the same line as some anime piratey things I've seen. Not many, I admit, but they are they do exist. Do exist indeed. An AA Zyphos, even though that was a thing. Okay, the Alluvian is still doing the moider over here. Not quite sure everything else is. You hit, you hit that one. You, you know, pick on that. You take out that. And, oh, you're up over here. Never mind, you go kill that as well. I've not even, like I say, I've not even pulled in the rest of my forces. Is that a griffin? Champion. Interesting. And that's the problem. The enemy is no longer really a threat to me. Obviously, bigger fleets are. But the weaker fleets are not. 
And that's kind of why I was trying to stick with the whole piratey theme. But once you start killing what you keep, and keeping what you kill, because obviously I have killed a few ships off by letting them just go straight to battle. Once you start doing that, you have a lot of ships. You have a lot of combat capabilities. I've raised my fleet capabilities to 4. T to 40, not to 4. And I've even let the enemy have up to 40 ships as well. So that means, you know, battles are bigger. More forces are brought to bear. The enemy will always outnumber me. But because I'm able to pick and choose my battles, I've done significantly better. That's why I'm trying to give myself certain goals and things. So I definitely need some kind of gimmick. I definitely need some kind of gimmick to stop this happening. Because once the steamroller starts, the steamroller goes until everyone is dead. And right now, that's very obviously what's happening. Very, very obviously what's happening. Because there's nothing which can really stop me. I can kill a few of my ships, but with all the hull mods I've got on, they mostly don't die. They come back. Now, I can do a run where, if anything explodes, they never come back. And that will force me to obviously use a lot of, a lot more ships. But that's only delays inevitable. Even if I have a thing where all my ships, you know, if they die, they die forever. You just abandon them. Even if I have that. It just means I have more ships. It means I'll throw in more sacrifices. It means, obviously, when the Illuvian and the Dragon Man exploded, it'd be annoying. But I could just go attack more Shadow Yard stuff. Go capture a few more of them. Instead of only having the Illuvian... Yoink. Instead of only having, like, the Illuvian and the Dragon Man, maybe I'd have a few dozen of them stored somewhere I care about. I wonder if I actually killed the Super Carrier. So it's just... Slightly more inevitable. Seriously, the second one... I just killed the other one. So there's no... There's a few minor threats, but there's no real threat now. Unless I start fighting the things within the void. The things in the void, of course, would be significantly tougher. But the things in the void, of course... Uh, I know okay to fight. Obviously, they have a bit more to do. Oh, the battleship here. Awesome. There's, there's more to do, but again, it's once you get past a certain power point, not as in power point display, but actual points of power, the enemy becomes really easy to destroy. Now, obviously, I have a problem with star base with massive lasers. Massive lasers are still a bit of a bane to me. But all I can do, really, is probably spend a few more episodes grabbing ships. I do a bit of stuff off camera, as you know. I kill fleets off of camera, because they're the same fights over and over. Which means if I kill all these uh, Vengeance fleets off camera, I can probably get three or four of the super carriers. Which is insane to me. Absolutely insane to me. But, I've done a carrier run. Not a lot of runs, actually. So yeah, Shadow Yard run definitely. Don't need some kind of gimmick. Maybe a no flagship run. You know, no controlling a ship. I know some people have done that before. Maybe I should do that. What is that? Oh, it's the Kuto heavy catafat from this ship. I think. No, it's not this ship. It's one of the ships. I've been putting more of the heavier mechs on things. So instead of having a dozen smaller fighters we have two big heavy super fighters and I think honestly having more fighters is better than having super fighters because more fighters fills the screen with chaos it overloads weapon systems and stuff like that but it, it depends on your, your point of fighting style if I'm honest it's like some people want to go 15 um, frigates or and some people want to go two battleships the Morthen's on fire the Morphin's still ramming the enemy I want you to Retreat. Morton isn't going to be able to retreat. Then Morton's going to explode. There goes the Morton. Every single time. Every single time. Now we're going to take losses. Because obviously there's a few things here. But I don't want to take that many losses.
Because the battleship's currently focused on me, which means the rest of my fleet is happy to do whatever it wants. We might lose a few of the smaller ships, because of course we still have a few smaller ships. We have a few more bigger ships too. We have replacements. In fact, if I lost everything, the only real losses I'd be annoyed about would be... The Nuka Cola, because it was kind of rare to find that. The Star Jackal 2, we'd probably have to find another one, but it's easily done. Yeah, the big issues I would have if I lost anything would be the two Poison Ivies. Because obviously one I started with, and the other one I never bloody found it. Why is the Judo Cast leading the assault of all things? Where is the Judo Cast? Where actually is the Judo Cast? There. Oh, it's been hit by missiles. Probably fighters, actually. And you see this? Having the Ulan siege lasers, I'm just over damaging the front of a battleship. That's insane. I'm out damaging a battleship, of all things. The Ulan siege laser in large numbers obviously super, super uses up resources, but it's massively devastating. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, which one are you? I think I know. Lofi! And also, people are saying maybe all aggressive. No, not all of my ships are aggressive. I have a few cautious and a few steadies. I know a lot of my ships want to be aggressive, but they're not all aggressive. And when we take this place, we have to repair my ships again. I may have to bring in the broken knife, having an issue. That's fine. The base is taking time. And once this is done, we land the troops. Well, we saturation bombarded. We land the troops. And that will be our pirate base. And then all we have to do is hold it. Take and hold in the heart of territory where no one likes me. Which is going to be fun. The broken knife's about to die. Where's the broken knife? Broken knife's there. Please retreat. So there's two types of retreat. There's direct retreat where it just turns around and leaves, and there's a regular retreat where it keeps its shields on to facing the enemy. Every time I tell them to retreat, I make sure the shield's on facing the enemy. What do they do? They turn around and show their arse to the enemy, and then explode. So for those who wonder why I'm very annoyed my ships explode in battle, that is why. The zero is down, the broken knife's down. Eh. Still got more ships. I haven't even brought in the sh haven't even brought in the shiny scales. But you see this? I'm gonna have to check on what you're doing. You should be doing that. Doesn't matter if you're aggressive. You shouldn't be literally face tanking. Nothing. He face tanked nothing. He just rammed nothing and died. Ah. There was a few questionable tactics being used here. But again, I still have plenty of ships to spare. It may probably be tougher to fight the Vengeance fleets coming in, but I still have plenty of ships to spare. And if need be, I can use a story point to tell them to leave. That's why you always have story points prepped. I need again. I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning. And there's very little this station can actually do now, set up in properly. Once you get to the point where it's always overly fluxed or partially damaged and the shields are down and the actual armour is down, there's very little it can do. Admittedly, that battleship caused a few issues. Just a few. But the hangar's about to go down, the side pieces are getting there. What the hell? You're still here? Okay. Keeps EMPing me. That can die. That can die. That can die. It's a Kopesh. And apart from this one side piece, there isn't much left of this. Like, it's got the guns and things, but the armor's gone. The shielding is basically gone. The flux is super there. I'm gonna have to check what these commanders are set at. This is stupid. The shield just came up and killed it. What was that? 
I've been EMP'd again, I've been EMP'd again. And the Judo Cast just died. How? It's a ship of caution. It's literally a cautious ship. Uh, issues, 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 issues. But despite all that, we're doing okay. I've got to have a few words with my commanders, though. A few angry words with my commanders. I just watched the Alluvian die because it got inside the enemy shield, which raised and blew it up. Which isn't a thing that should happen. But there you are. And all I have to do is wait for this to rotate the right way and blow it up. Oh my god, I can't believe the Alluvian did that! Alluvian! Uh, a few more losses I should have taken anyway. A few more losses I should have taken, but there we go. We can, we can bombard the planets, we can hit them all. This is basically cleared. We have plenty of resources, I don't have to bring in my battle fortress. This is clear, let's see what the story says, if all the ships come back, eh? And the points say... One, two, three, four, five, six... Six ships. Out of how many? Six. All ships survived. If I'd done it well, all the ships didn't survive, that'd be interesting-ish. And there you go, take all of that, grab all the resources. Now we bombard them tactically. Now we bombard them. Saturation leak. And uh, now we invade. And there we go. We've completely taken this thing. Now I have to wait for the Vengeance Fleet. And we live here. So the next time you see us, we will be defending Jangalar, which is going to be my new home world. Till then, take care, be awesome, be epic, be amazing, and be prepared for war. The pirate base is landing on a planet.